unending construction on occupied Palestinian territories. Israeli settlements have been mushrooming on lands Palestinians want as their future state. This is settlement construction on lands seized during the Six-Day War of 1967 is illegal under international law. Israeli settlements have fragmented Palestinian territories, especially in the occupied West Bank. The exponential growth of the settlements is dividing and isolating Palestinian communities and further restricting their right to freedom of movement, access to education, food, water resources, and health care. Israeli expansionism has long had strong support from the United States. The illegal construction has accelerated since U.S. President Donald Trump came into office in 2017. Trump has even avoided verbal condemnation of the ongoing Israeli expansionism, and Israeli settlers seem to fully appreciate that. You only have to look at the makeup of uh, the Trump administration. The White House is jammed full of Zionists and Israeli sympathizers. Then, if you look at his special envoy to the peace talks, his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, and Mr. Greenblatt, they are both Zionists and supporters and active investors in settlements in the West Bank. Senior Israeli settler leader Hanan al-Durani admitted this week that Trump's support is key to building more settler units on occupied Palestinian territories. In a ceremony to celebrate the construction of hundreds of new settler units, the settler leader asked visiting Mike Huckabee, the former governor of the U.S. state of Arkansas, to push Trump's administration for even more support for the settlements. Huckabee himself is a staunch supporter of Israeli expansionism. He has close ties to the Trump administration. His daughter, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, is serving as the White House's press secretary. The settlers apparently view the former governor as a powerful lobbyist who can get them more White House support. And he is not letting them down. I certainly can say that the president would be very proud to see beautiful, wonderful, thriving neighborhoods being built. While Trump has stepped up U.S. support for Israel, he has grown increasingly indifferent to the plight of the Palestinians. An instance is the suffering of the people in the Gaza Strip. Over the past months, Israeli forces have attacked unarmed Palestinian protesters there and killed scores of them. And not a single word of criticism from the White House. Emboldened Israel is now tightening its blockade on the Gaza Strip. It has banned fuel and gas supplies into the besieged territory. Israelis say the latest restrictions are in retaliation for the use of kites and balloons by Palestinians. Critics say banning gas and fuel supplies to Gaza as a response to a few kites that may burn some crops and trees is a drastic and disproportionate measure. This is a racist apartheid regime intent on ethnically cleansing Palestine from all non-Jews and they are being given a helping hand, not only by the United States of America, but by Egypt also, who is sanctioning this, the, 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 the siege from the Rafah border. If we could do peace. But that's Israel's style, and will probably not change as long as America has its back. <laughs>